Welcome to the final animation of this free Blender in Blender course. If you're new here, either watch the free course from the beginning or check out my Gumroad to get all the assets so you can follow along. So let's get started straight away. So right now we are going to do the final animation and it's going to happen in the kitchen. As you remember in the previous tutorial, we entered a droplet and we're going to transition into this shot where we see the blender and the smoothie comes rolling in. It's going to be a very simple animation and we're going to be done very quickly. So I'm going to select all our objects of the smoothie because they are still separate objects. And I also noticed that this straw doesn't have a hole in the middle. So I'm going to fix that, press I and now E and make sure it has a hole like this. So I'm going to select this glass, Shift S, cursor to select it, and right now it's straight in the middle. So I'm going to add an empty right over here, plain access, and we've got this little plus icon, and now we'll select everything, the glass, the smoothie, the straw, this thing, and the strawberry, select the empty last. Control P, select object, keep transform. We can move around this empty, and the glass will follow along. So this is basically the final position where we want it to be at. So I'm going to the timeline. This should probably be a little bit longer because we are transitioning into the droplet of the previous shot. So this one should have some time to move towards the happening of this event. So let's say frame 30 is technically frame zero. That's the frame from which it's all going to start. And our glass should probably be over there. But I want the animation to occur approximately over here. So 50 frames, that's two seconds. Maybe we can play around with it in the graph editor. I think this is going to look fine. So I'm going to press I right over here. And then I'm going back to frame 30 and I will move this with G on the X axis and press I. And now it's going to scoof over to the side and it doesn't really look spectacular or professionally animated, but we're going to fix that later. Now I wanted to topple over just a little bit. So let's go over to the 3D cursor right there. Select this glass. Select this bottom vertice, shift S, cursor to select it. And now we should animate this empty on the Y axis. So R and Y, and it will topple over like this. Press I, then take this keyframe, copy it, and bring it back here. Hoppa. Now that doesn't look very smooth. And the reason for it is that we actually used a rotation keyframe on this one as well. So the rotation is only starting from this frame on. And I think that looks a little bit janky. So we're going to change that remove these rotation keyframes. Whew, now it's coming in and it's kind of sliding inside of the table, which I think is very annoying. And that actually solved the problem. So if you place it on the same keyframe as this one, it solved the problem. So all we have to do now is go over to the graph editor, right over here. We're moving this on the G axis. So I'm going to close everything off except for the X axis. Select it, press A, press period. And now we can see what it looks like. I want it to come in fast at first. So I'm going to bring this upwards. I'm going to take this, bring it to the side, G and X. Very nice. Now we also need to do that with the rotation. So let's go over to the Y rotation, A and dot. And let's select both of this, S and X, scale it. All right, so I'm going to keep it like this. And now it slides in from right over there Maybe it should have come right outside of the frame. Actually, that might have been better. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's open everything up. Control tab. Let's go to frame 30. Let's take this and bring it right over there. Press I. And I also want to move the camera forward to give it this extra effect. So I'm going to place a keyframe right here. I'm going to select the keyframe and bring it all the way to frame zero in this case, because we do want the camera to be moving when we are moving inside of the droplet. So 110. It's going to be fine. G, Z, Z. Let's zoom this in. Maybe a bit downwards as well. Press I. Let's make it linear. T, linear. Maybe take the strawberry. Scale it up. Let's hide it right over there. Press I. And right over here. Let's set it to frame 130. Let's bring it up, press I, go into the graph editor. Let's go to the Z location, close everything else off, select it, A dot, make it go fast in the beginning. RCZ, let's rotate it as well. Okay, rotation, all right. Cool, now all we need to do is make sure that this progresses. So I'm going to add a modifier. Right over here, select the Z rotation, go to the modifiers, add cycles. Don't set this to repeat motion because then it will 
do the same thing over and over. Set it to repeat with offset. And now it will just continue turning around. So I'm going to copy this by clicking on this button and do the same for the Y, which is right over here. So simply select the Y, unlock it, go to the modifiers, paste it. Same goes for the X, unlock it, click on it, go to the modifiers, paste it. It's going on indefinitely and we can do the same for the Kiwi. So let's take the Kiwi as well, let's duplicate it, bring it right over here. Things should be at 130, right over here. So press I and then go to frame 44. Let's bring this down, press I and then right in the middle, we want to do some rotation. So R, X, X, R, C, Z, R, Y, Y, something like this and then K. Rotation. Go into the graph editor. Let's select the set location. So unlock that a dot. And now we can see it should probably move faster in the beginning. This to the side. Boom. Now it's, they're both coming at the same time, which is nice. Now we're going to open up the rotation. Let's do the X rotation first. So let's delete the keyframe right here. Go over to the modifiers. Add a modifier. Cycles. Repeat with offset. And copy it. Now go to the Y rotation, delete this keyframe, add a modifier, so click on this, modifier, paste it, repeat with offset, and the same goes for this one as well. All right, very cool. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. It was very easy. We just simply made some animations in the graph editor for the smoothie, for the camera, and maybe some fruits in the backgrounds if you like. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click on like and subscribe. Also check out the ultimate Google pack, link is in the description. This was the final animation of the free Blender in Blender course, but we're far from done yet, because in the next two parts, we are going to edit everything together. You're going to learn about text animations, color grading, and transitions. So make sure to check that out right now by clicking here.